Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Trials of Mana. I'm the Mysterious JG. Last time, we um, had a fairly involved uh, little video there. We, um, we were in the free city of Maya here trying to figure out what to do next, and uh, a guy who looks a lot like Jose told us to uh, head for Valsena. So as we started heading for Valsena, we encountered all tenish mages trying to take over with their super death robots. And um, we defeated them, but in the process, cut ourselves off from reaching Valsena. Golden Road ahead. Beware of monsters. He's going to hang around here forever. What can we do without the free slight here? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, with the... Um, With the bridge out and uh, Fairy not spontaneously volunteering to float us across the uh, the gap as she has done in the past in similar circumstance, we don't really have a way to get to Valsana. What we can do before we go where the plot wants us to go is at least try and figure out what. Um, and you just continue. You continue to hang around here forever, talking about the little cactus. So carefully, you just wander right by them. <laughs> I like that uh, he says, we'll clear your path. Like, it's up to him and Charlotte to protect Angela. Like, I could see Duran wanting to, like, protect Angela. But once Charlotte's in your party, the idea that he would be working with somebody else to... Like, two people are working together to protect a third party member... It really does seem like it would be Charlotte who would be needing protection. She's a little girl. Even if she's like Elvation, she's older than she looks, or wherever, wherever. Here we come up. Okay, so. This would be new following it in this direction. Although it looks like there's. Oh, never mind. Those treasure chests. I'm going to say, I don't think we've opened these treasure chests. Why are they on the map? Oh, because of little cactus power. Although we haven't unlocked that yet, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And we did already get these treasure chests. Yeah, that's already open. I don't get it. I didn't think we'd been over here yet. Oh, you know what? Ah, I loaded. I loaded a game. So apparently I already went by here uh, off screen on this slot. So, oops, well, hopefully... I'll tell you what, let's see if we get a cinematic here. This is the merchant town of Bizer. The merchant's guild has received intel. The magicians of Altana in the north are preparing to attack. You could be one of their spies. No outsiders is allowed to see this time. Go away. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Real quick, just to check this out. We're going to load on the Golden Road. And just... I'm curious now. Those uh, those treasure chests won't be there because they were marked as open. That's why I was like, what the heck? Um, I had forgotten that I loaded. I got to the point right before we entered Stone Split Gap and loaded a save that was right before we entered Stone Split Gap. But apparently on that save, I had actually proceeded west to check out that town. So now we'll be right in front of Stone Split Gap again. Difference being that we haven't explored those zones yet. So now, just for the hell of it, let's quick come over here and see what is going on. These treasure chests will not be open. So we got 400 lucre. See, that was exciting. Aren't you glad you got a chance to see that? Got an item seed. That's worth getting. Fine then. Here I go. Fine. It's like she's taking it personally that these monsters are attacking. Look out! 
time to celebrate. Let's get moving. Okay. There's a treasure chest here. Fairy walnut. See, it really feels like there's something hidden over there. And if this is just the exact same thing. Yeah, no voice acting. So, we're not allowed to enter. And uh, now... Let's just... Um, I guess we'll be fastest now. Sorry, I didn't mean to spend all this time loading and going back and forth and all this kind of nonsense. Let's go to the free city of Maya. Because this is where we started the video. So we'll just, okay, six minutes worth of... Uh, me finding, me realizing that I'd gotten slightly confused with my save state. Where are slots? Oh, uh, pardon me. But more importantly, enemies will drop seeds more often too. Woohoo! But more importantly than that, the, um... Yeah, we found out that if you try to go to the next town, uh, they kick you out because even, and this happens even before you attack, uh, you encounter those uh, mages and their monster machines. They're saying, hey, we heard that all tennis mages are coming, get the F out. And in fairness, um, even if she isn't with them, uh, Angela is an all tennis mage, so it would make some sense why they wouldn't be all that excited about having her around. But no, even if you don't have uh, Angela in your party, you can't get into that town. They're like, you could be spies, get out. So your brother's kind of a crackpot. I'm Von Boyata's sister, Von Soir. My brother's kind of a crackpot. Oh, never mind. He's... Apparently he's back in the house. Oh, man, I really feel like taking a nap, too, and it's not a good idea. See, he's excited about this. He's excited. I can fix all your problems. problems with boyfriends. I can fix them with my cannon. Rename it. Oh, never mind that. You need to come into my backyard again. Look at the split. I'm surprised that she actually like she didn't say anything to him before, and now suddenly, did you rename it? Yeah, the heroes find Bon's or Bon Voyage rather annoying, um, and I can kind of see why. Isn't she a beauty? Isn't she lovely? so caught up in making this that I plum forgot about ignition fuel. Nitromite. I need nitromite to fire this up. Think you can grab Wouldn't it be dynamite or perhaps nitroglycerin? I've got too much work left on my next invention to get it myself. You'll be fine. And he just dances away with his eyes closed. <laughs> he has an odd little character bottle. Fuel, huh? supposed to get that? Well, I mean, there's an item shop. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just ask someone in town. Isn't that what we were doing a couple of videos ago? You really objected to that. Look around for nitromite. Every eye that drinks, I see. Wait a few years and I'll treat you to a pint. Why are you eyeing my lemon drink? It's the house of Bon Voyage. Home of various nanomachines. I am pretty sure dwarves use that stuff in the mines to dig tunnels. Golden Road splits off before it gets to, uh, yeah, whatever, you don't care. Flip. 
Are you spies? Oh wait, I'm a different guy. You got something new to say at night, or perhaps after plot advancement? Nope. Yeah, I'm Victor. The entrance to Dwarf Tunnel is south in the Stone Split Gap. That's where you can find those folks. Was there really a hidden entrance in Stone Split Gap? I just hope we can find it. Oh, apparently these other people uh, we can't talk to, or we can probably still talk to them, but... No way of identifying which ones we were supposed to talk to. You've been journeying. What a large undertaking. Get off my table. I mean, go to the Dwarf Village. There's a secret entrance to Stone Split Gap. That's all I know. Thanks. Now I'll finish my table dance. <laughs> that was... Oh, I really mean, we should be watching your scary ways. This is monster. Stay away. Somewhere in all the, one of these guys here must say something about the dwarves, because there was another. Uh... Guess we'll be returning to Jad for a while. Yeah, the thing is that that character model keeps showing up, but I keep thinking it's supposed to be the same guy. Like he just runs really fast and beats us to getting over. Over here, where he would be waiting. At as we try to leave town. huge of a lunch, but I'm... Just... She mentioned naps, and I'm... Pied Piper effect. I really want to take one now. I don't have time for this. Stop. No, thank you. We can get this in if you wish. Why am I bothering with this one? I didn't with that one. I don't know. Oh, that's right. We never leveled up after, uh... Well, she's now... Way to learn Tyco, where we can, uh... Get that spell. He's been apparently working on his intelligence. Effect length increased by 100% for status increase caused by mood. So eventually I might go check some of those out, but... Basically we gotta go all the way back to where we were. Alright, we'll clear your way. Leave it to me. No, thank you. Leave it to me. No, thank you. I'll take care of it. This'll be faster if we fight together. We'll run. Uh, retreat! It's not like we're retreating because we're in danger. It's more of a, like, time saver. Anyway, stone split gap. And this is another one of those areas, like, early on, getting fairy to pop and, and advance the plot. Uh, Bobo and I running, like, well, I don't remember doing this with Bobo so much, but I remember running around back and forth playing this on my own. Not knowing exactly what to do to get the uh, elf or a dwarf plot going here. But it's much easier in this game where they just signpost everything. Some people hate that, but I'm like, well, I mean, you don't have to follow the signposts every time. But this one in particular is like, I didn't... Dwarf tunnel is supposed to be around here. You have to interact with the statue to get things to advance in the Super Famicom version, if I remember correctly. And there's no particular reason that you would know that. Right. I finally get to work out. See this wall here? I like to keep in it's really good shape, guys. With light. Cool, huh? 
You know, they used to call this place Gem Valley because of all the crystals in the rock walls. The crystals are how the dwarves disguise the entrance. Here, look. This, this is really happy. Normal, but I can shine my light to nullify the illusion. I know you want to see, right? Ta-da! Here's what the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel really looks like. Now get in there! Get in there and do your thing, especially you, Duran. <laughs> Find some nitromite. Nitronite. And we got a medical herb to make up for the one that we've used total in this entire adventure. Mm. Sorry. All right, so here we are. Whacking that golden statue. That's a great idea. And uh, we're looking to get another spell. Right now, and again, Angela's whole thing was that she wanted to use magic, but the game doesn't really... Even this version, where I thought they might have added a little cinematic... They really don't do anything with Angela learning to cast a magic spell for the first time. But I still get pretty excited about getting a new element because um, it, it's going to mean new attack magic for her. Even though all the attack magic kind of looks the same. A village of dwarves. Here? I never imagined there was so much to discover outside the castle. Come on, let's buy some nitromite. I'm just really excited to meet dwarves, I'm telling you guys. What? I've always wanted to be dwarves for some reason. What? You gonna say lolly ho? Yes, I live and breathe. Top soilers. You done saw through our trick entrance, did you? Well, welcome to Dwarf Village. What? Now that you're here, I guess we'll have to kill you so you can't reveal our secret. Secret of the use. <laughs> okay, so that looks like it's going to come down at some point. Will you just talk to him? Those dwarves who make weapons from ore we dig up, yes, they're all handmade. We also have Russians here in the dwarf mines. That was a hard day's work, if there ever was one. I'm way past ready for my dinner. Don't see many humans in these parts. How do you do? Wow, I thought I took that treasure and it ended all light in the world. It was just candy that I happened to find exactly as they were switching from day to night. Bleh, it's so moldy in here. I think mushrooms are going to start spouting out of me. You are a mushroom. That was mean-spirited and nonsensical. So here's the end. Any chance that it's free because you're so excited by outsiders? Welcome. Guess not. Come again. Hey, dwarves are all from the south. What? Couple of wishes, dirty dishes. all about our patron elemental nomadic and his, his earth and powers protect us in the mines. We're lucky to have him. Been digging around in circles all for days. Almost give up hope till I cracked into a great big hole. A gigantic monster was hiding deep in the rocks. Eyes glittering something fierce. Done near ruin my britches, let me tell you. Well, I mean, you just got alarmed to them. I mean, you're wearing brown pants, so it's not like the stain would be completely unhideable. We ain't got much use for weapons ourselves. Why don't the shop stock more pickaxes? That's what I want to know. Top soldiers, get away. Get away. Okay, so we met the one racist dwarf. Everyone else seems pretty happy to see us. 
considering that they hided their their hided they they've hidden their existence from humans they seem okay with the fact that we showed up except for that one he's true to his racist school He's staring straight at camera. Dr. Martin, hmm? Watts had some in his shop, I think. So this is the dwarven quality, huh? Get a load of the edge on this thing. That's all you care about, isn't it? Welcome! All these wares are good picks. But none of them are pickaxes. Would you look at these? Looks good. Got a Gladius for Duran. Would you look at this? Angela can use a sorcerer rod. I'll make use of this. And then the old ball and chain for uh, Charlotte. Good work. Come again. I guess I'll sell the weapons when I sell armor, which I'll do once we've bought new armor. Which one? Which one? Watch the shopkeeper done got a job to do. The tunnel a mess further in. Ooh let me tell you. Well, uh, there's a lot of monsters, so you uh, should buy some items first. <laughs> I am minding the shop. Well, on that note, welcome. On that note, I'll become a generic shopkeeper from this moment forward. Welcome. All these wares are good picks. Come again. All right, so I gotta find the armor shop, and then I can advance the story. Yeah, they got some weird um, light effects on this armor, or these this Welcome. particular suit. It All showed up somewhere else, but picks. in blue. Common mail is, uh, I guess, better than whatever he's got. Would you look at these? This is good quality. Would you look at these? I love shopping. A witch Would robe and a cleric robe. So exciting. All right, so iron sword can go. Staff can go. Wood flail can go. Stiff leathers, oh my. Silk robe and sheep pajamas. Everything else, not so much. Come again. Dwarf village. It's not written in dwarvish though, because we well, can read it. Looking for what, huh? Well, it's further down the tunnel. Uh, give me a sec. I'll, uh, I'll make a path for you. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. There you go. See, she should have said thanks, but I did. So. Yeah, I'll make a path for you. Oh, crowd always. It looks like he almost ruined his trousers too. Whoa. Exploding pickaxe. <laughs> hey, I got a week for adventure, eh? Well, be seeing you. Weaklings! Alright, let's go save our game. I believe uh, there's something like a, uh, a. One of those abilities you get from chatting with people that you only get. If you, uh, uh, hi. If you actually buy the, um, Nitro from Watts, I think, um, if you pay money for it, you get something special, but you can avoid paying money for it. Which is what I did off screen, but then I found out that you get, um, one of those chain abilities. So I'm just curious to see if it's any good, because whatever we did off screen, that's what's going to carry the day. But I just want to save the game before we go in and interact with them. Because i got to see just how much it costs to actually um, buy it. Because it's it's like a really high price, but it's not un unobtainable. I remember it was the same way in the Super Famicom version. Like, for whatever reason, you can spend the money, but... 
whoa, she just got like stuck in the wall there for a second. She's kind of, it feels like she was flailing her arms around. Getting pressed into the wall like a, like a Capitol policeman. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Getting pressed by protesters. Forget it. I didn't say anything about that. Let's move on. So I don't mind spending all of our money to see what this thing is, but then, um, because again, what I load, it won't matter. It's just a matter of making sure that we don't not have enough money for everything else. You know, like buying armor in a new towns and whatnot. Oh, it looks like we we got a little bit of a uh, dungeon to clear first. Some explanation for who and what the goblins are now that they're living amongst the dwarves who are also not quite human might be appreciated. What a joke. Got an item seed and a candy out of that. She just seems annoyed, but... Fine, then. I'll defeat monsters. Got a dream Oh, this is the first time mole bears show up, but not the last. Oh, that's, yeah, I don't know if I'd ever noticed her saying that before. Okay, not bad. A little frustrated when she gets knocked on her ass by monsters. Oh, he's here praying at the altar of dynamite. Hmm? Yeah, I'm what? Who's asking? I uh, want nitro might. You want nitro? But I'm not gonna tell you who we are. I got some here. It'll cost you though five thousand lucre. So you're supposed to negotiate him down, or like refuse to pay at all. But we've got enough. Let's here. Take your nitromide. Yeah, I think we're supposed to. Oh wait, I ain't got time to chat. I'm looking for Gnome, our patron elemental. <laughs> he ain't nowhere to be found. There's just been so many dang quakes and rumbles down here. I came to check on Gnome, but he was gone. Oh, what a mess. No time to waste. I'll be deeper in the caves looking for Gnome. No, wait. He's gone. But we got our nitromite, so who cares? Watts appreciation has granted you a new ability. Blacksmith. Gear stats increased by 5% in battle. Well, that's actually not More bad. More costly than I thought, but at least we have the fuel now. Hey, everyone. Oh. I'm still a little worried that Gnome is missing. We have to stop Altena as soon as Let's possible. Let's catch up to Watts and figure this out before we go to Valsena. I have a bad feeling that I just can't shake. Well, that was my whole deal. I was like, okay, well, we have the stuff. We can just ignore Gnome and go to... Um... Seems like it's not going to let us, but let's try. Because in the... I believe in the SNES version, like, even if you give him the money, you don't get the dynamite right away. But I might be wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering it. Uh, because typically what you do is... He leaves when you refuse to buy the dynamite for this exorbitant price... And um, you chase him down and you deal with this whole plot about him and Gnome that they've discussed. And then um, at the end of that whole plot, 
he gives you the nitromite for free, as and it's I think it's just called dynamite in the original version of the fan translation. He just gives it to you for for free as as a way of thanking you. So um, yeah, now I'm like curious, like. It, I, I would imagine this is a waste of our time and nothing's going to happen, but... Because Fairy was already like, let's, let's deal with this before we move on. So I think even if we got all the way back, uh, it just nothing will happen. We'll talk to him and it'll act like we don't have this in our, in our inventory until after we've dealt with Gnome. But um, I'm curious, because uh, it, that, although that is kind of a neat ability, I'm like 90% sure that uh, in the future save slots we're going to load from, we didn't do that. I just got the Nitromite for free. So, let's head back to Von Voyage's place. Yeah. Those Altana mages better watch their backs. Fine then. Here I go. <laughs> exactly. We don't care about it, Gnome. I mean, I know we need to get all the elemental spirits, but let's go to let's go talk to the king of Alsana first, right? All right, we'll clear your way. This could be a bigger splitting off than I thought. I mean, in theory, if we go to Valsena without dealing with a gnome quest, and we have to come back and deal with gnome later, we could really all right. we'll have a fairly different. Uh, Approach to the story here. Uh, uh, this will be faster if we fight again. Uh, uh, oh, I'm confused. Dialogue is playing too fast. Because we haven't had that many chances to watch her healing magic in action. So let's there we go. I would be surprised if it lets us go to Valsena without dealing with Gnome first. That would be a pretty big side trip. Because while it's possible to get back to here from there, it's not like an immediate, easy, and simple thing. <sighs> But there's kind of a lot of stuff like we have to do before we actually... I'm kind of hoping they cut it off now because... Otherwise I'll feel tempted to play it out in that like unusual way and show you. Since I've never seen it myself. But there's kind of a lot of fighting we'd have to do to get to... Attack him. Cannon, right? <laughs> excellent! Excellent! Head to the backyard, and I'll meet you there. <sighs> oh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna let us do all this stuff. Well, alright, um... I'm gonna save the game and call it a video. It looks like, just for the hell of it, this isn't the way it's supposed to be done. Let's see what happens if you go all the way to Balsina without uh, getting Gnome first. You're going to have to come back and get Gnome eventually to win the game. Welcome. But I'm curious. We will save over... Uh, this slot here. And uh, when we come back next time, we will be uh, kind of ignoring the plot and what we're supposed to do with Gnome. Uh, to, to something the plot told us to do, which is get to Valsina. But yeah, we're going to ignore Gnome and see what happens. Um, not sure how far we can go down this road before it kind of, you know, throws up on us. But 
I guess we'll find out. See you next time, guys.